Okay, uh, so it's a program um, we mainly target students in uh, universities and schools to translate articles about Wikipedia um, and add them to enrich the content of whatever language they uh, speak. So uh, today we're going to speak about the translations. I mean, how to contribute to Wikipedia through tra translation. Um, I will give this talk with my friend Farah. Okay. So why we translate? Why do we need translate? I mean, we have two ways to contribute to Wikipedia. Either to translate or to make a research and upload the, the, the outcome on Wikipedia. So why do we need to translate? Any clues? Okay. So first of all, globalizing the content. For example, um, if I have like a figure or um, a special topic uh, in my country, so it will never be global unless, unless someone translates that topic into other language. Nobody will know about that uh, topic, whatever it is, unless it's translated. So it will be remained on our Wikipedia or, our, or on, in our language only. So we need to translate to globalize whatever content, uh, whatever topic is. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, number two, maintaining notability. You know that one of the most important pillars in Wikipedia is notability. Uh, notability is to, um, do, you know what's, do you know what's notability? I mean, if, uh, if in the previous uh, presentation it was mentioned, notability is that um, a topic is verified, well known for all people, um, and um, it's something really known. I'm not talking about myself. I'm not. I'm not a, a public figure. So how can I, how can I write an article about myself? So notability is something that's very known for all people, or at least for a group mass of people. So through translation, we can maintain notability. We translate whatever topic is, so all people would know that topic. Okay, so, and number three is narrowing the gap between different Wikipedias. And different Wikipedias here, I mean different versions of Wikipedias. I mean, when we translate, for example, an, um, an article from English to Arabic. So now we're narrowing the gap of number of articles between different versions. Uh, number four, increasing diversity within the same Wikipedia. For example, um, Arabic Wikipedia, because I contribute to the Arabic one. We have topics that are related to our culture. If I didn't translate from other cultures, from Spanish, from English, from Chinese, how would my know how would my people know about others if we didn't translate? So it's an, another uh, reason why we should translate. And finally, producing content faster. Of course, translating an article from Wikipedia to another uh, is the fast uh, is the fast uh, process other than research. Because then when you do a research, um, a research, an article through research, you have to read books, you have to get references, uh, you have to do lots of steps. But translating from another Wikipedia to whatever your mother tongue is, you have a ready-made article. You just translate, you just add references, pictures, and everything is almost there, so you just copy it. Uh, that's why we should translate, or the benefits of translation. So where we translate? In this part, I will give you some examples of a very successful uh, project um, that where people used to translate from whatever language they know, whatever first language they have, into their mother tongue or vice versa. Uh, on Wikipedia, we have lots of inspiring stories. I've chosen only three, uh, and I'm glad to share them with you. 
So the first project is Wiki Women Project. It's in Egypt. Uh, it's part of Wikipedia education program. As I told you in the beginning, Wikipedia, we aim to, uh, to help or encourage students um, on, uh, in universities and schools to translate. So Wiki Women is a global initiative started years ago. Uh, and we started this in Egypt two years ago only. Um, we translate articles about women from whatever language is into Arabic to make women um, well known and to increase the content of Arabic articles about women. So uh, when it started, it started in September 2014, 80 students participated uh, and they contributed in Wiki Women Project with over 6 million kilobytes in one month. Only one month. They added that content. And I remember, this was my group, I remember that I was working with a Turkish department, students who uh, studies Turkish language. So they translated in that one, they, in that course, they translated all the Turkish articles about women into Arabic. So when we, um, when we proceeded with the, with the project in the following years, we couldn't find any Turkish articles to translate. Because in the first one, in the first uh, course, they did it all. And then in the second year, um, in summer 2015, 44 students added like 2 million, uh, 1,000, whatever, bytes uh, in that, in few months. And translations were from six different languages into Arabic. The languages were Chinese, Russian, English, Spanish, uh, Persian, and Turkish, and that's for the Wiki Women. And currently, um, around the, for this semester, which we haven't released the the results yet or the numbers yet, uh, around 32 students they translated 82 articles about women, about things related to women health, uh, physical parts of women, things related to medicine. Um, and the women scientists, it's, it's also a an, an global initiative that if you would like to share with, if you are interested in that project. And this is uh, the picture of the first, it's the fifth uh, uh, celebration, but it was the first for the Wiki Women, it's the picture of the student. And the second example is Wiki Learning Tech to Monterrey in Mexico City. Um, it was it was a very successful uh, one. The f in one year they added in spring 2015 they added uh, 695 articles. In summer they added 81 articles, and fall they added 281 articles overall, 1,057 articles. In less than one year, so translation brings a lot to Wikipedia. And that's their picture while editing. Um, the last example, it's not a part of Wikipedia education program, uh, but it's in University College London. They made something, it's called translation. Okay, in Wikipedia we have new terms. You, when you join us, you will get used to it. We have something called edithin, it's, it's edit and like marathon okay so you edit Wikipedia for too many hours so that's the editing uh, and that one in University College London in England it was, was a translation uh, they translated for five hours um, in this in this case it was different they they are postgraduates of translation so use they used Wikipedia to uh, improve their translation skills uh, since they are postgraduate students. And 36 uh, students participated in 11 languages. So they translated from English into 11 languages, not, and vice versa. We usually, in the Wiki, uh, education program, we translate from uh, whatever language we study into Arabic, our mother tongue. But here it was the opposite. It was from the language, uh, from the mother tongue into 11 languages.
and that's picture of uh, the translation. So, translation is great, but we have problems. So what do you think problems we usually face? Uh, pardon? Yes, that's one. Okay, so, so let's see what, what, as a Wikipedians, we face on translation. First of all, using machine translation. Nothing is comparable to the human translation. Uh, machine, including um, whatever, Google Translate, whatever, this creates an inaccurate uh, content and accordingly poor translation and accordingly you can't understand the content. So it's one of the problems we face on Wikipedia and that's why most of the machine translation uh, are retranslated by humans. We can, tr we can use machine for, for a word, for a couple of words, but you can't translate a whole message because an article is a message at the end. At the end, so you can translate a whole article using a machine. Why? Because we have culture specific content. I mean, sometimes, as I mentioned earlier, we have problems that are related to our culture, which are different from others. Uh, sometimes there are some words which, which have some meaning in your culture and, and different than others. So that's. Um, that's a second reason, culture-specific specific content, which the machine will never realize. And uh, finally, the literal translations. Again, it creates a content which, uh, which is um, not under, uh, understood. understood. Okay, now I leave you with Farah. He will tell you how to, uh, to use Wikipedia. We have created great tools to use, so he will uh, elaborate more. Thank you. Thank you, May. Um, all right, everyone. So, uh, as, as May has uh, has said, uh, translation is being used all around the world and uh, successfully. Um, and there are some tools that that, that can help uh, that can help one uh, translate uh, at, at a better pace and. Um, and I'm going to show you a, a couple of those tools, especially one of them. Um, uh, of course, of course, there's the, the Google Translate or Bing Translate or all the other uh, machine translations that, that are not supposed to be used to translate whole, whole articles. But those are tools at our disposal that uh, I think they are good tools. And we, we need to, uh, we, we can use them very, very, very carefully. Um, uh, now the there's uh, oh I'm missing the main one which uh, which I will show um, so so there's a Meta Translate extension uh, for for small messages in in Meta that need to be translated into different languages so this is not exactly article translation this is translation of uh, of, of of messages that are shown to uh, to, to users in in Meta Wiki uh, which um, which, which is sort of a, uh, for, for, for housekeeping and, uh, uh, and, and common projects. Um, so, so anyway, this is, uh, this is one way one can uh, contribute to, uh, to translating content if, if they're not interested in, uh, in translating whole articles. Um, another... Another uh, another tool is Translate Wiki, which is very similar to the Meta Translate extension, but it's it's uh, it it can be used across uh, different uh, different projects. A few of those wiki projects and others that are completely non-wiki, and and they use uh, pretty much uh, pretty much the same uh, the same uh, interface. Um, and the third one, which I'm going to be uh, showing you and spending the most time on, is the content translation tool, which is, I think, a, a wonderful tool. It's still in beta. It's it's not out to the. Uh, it's it's still a beta feature that needs to be turned on. But um, but I think this is, this has really gone a long way in uh, in making uh, translations uh, more streamlined, uh, easier to. Uh, 
more user friendly and 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 less prone to error. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna show. Let, let let's start with these the 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 small ones. Um, I'm connected. Okay, so Translate Wiki uh, is just this website, uh, trans translatewiki.net, and you can see all the projects that support that, that this is supported by. Um, all of these, a few of those are are Wikimedia projects such as MediaWiki, um, Wikidata, uh, Wikimania Scholarships app. Um, so, so let's let's say we're looking at this. We'll keep, um, it, it gives you one sentence at a time that you can translate uh, into into your own language. So here I, I said I'm go, I want to translate to Arabic. Um, this is a mock scholarship application only used just for testing. So you, you could edit this and, and say هذه فقط للتجربة. Uh, and uh, and save your translation, and and then other people would would go in and rate your translation, and and if it's got if it's got enough uh, ratings, it would just you know it it would be um, combined into the into the into the art or not the article, but the uh, the meta page or the 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 uh, instructions page that that this is uh, this is about. Um, in, and here it took me to the next paragraph and, and, or next sentence and so on. Um, the, the other one was the, the meta translate, which is, which is pretty much the same here. So um, th this is um, meta.wikimedia.org uh, special translate. And, uh, and yesterday it gave me these, these new messages about, uh, about the the announcement of, of Catherine uh, as the as the ED, so uh, I translated this one into Arabic, and, and there, were, and here Christoph, I could uh, Christoph Hena, um, Rais, uh, Majlis. And then I would save the translation. Uh, so, so this is this is for fast tasks. If if you have extra time on your hand and you just want to translate, you love translation. You just go here and tra translate random stuff, and uh, and it, it's it's not uh, it's not structured. So you can skip you can skip over a sentence if if you feel it's too difficult for you to translate or it doesn't make sense. Um, and and of course you can you can you can choose the language you want to translate to from here. Um, now the the main tool I want to show you is the is the content translation tool. Um, so so for this, uh, what I do is is I go to to my uh, my home uh, wiki, which is Arabic Wikipedia. Um, well, actually, let me show you in English how to turn it on, uh, just so more people understand. The, uh, so, so as I said, it's a beta feature. So you first need to go to beta, and and check this here content translation, and it'll be enabled for you to use. Um, so, so what I did here is. Um, There's this uh, translations, uh, and these are all the translations that I started and didn't continue. So th the nice thing about this is, is you're not, you don't have to do it in one session. You can, it auto saves. You, you just, uh, you just start translating, and if you need to go, you can always come back to it. Um, so for example, here. What I did was uh, there's this uh, this woman who is a minister in Austria, and she's of uh, Arab descent, Palestinian descent, but there is no Arabic uh, uh, page for her, so it's it's relevant to have an Arabic page uh, for her because she's an Arabic speaker, and 
it, it's relevant context. Uh, just just like May was saying that that we need also to um, to, to 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 make sure of our our local the local context and the language we're translating to. So so for this. Uh, Young lady, um, she is a minister in uh, in Austria, and she has an art. She, she has an article in in German, and I don't really speak German, and that's where Google Translate comes in handy to to kind of uh, to kind of get bits and pieces. Uh, so so the the interface is is very easy. Um, the picture is automatically transferred. The the uh, the categories, whatever categories are translated in uh, into into the, the language you're going to um, are already added. Um, the Wikidata items are uh, are linked up. So, so it's all the housekeeping uh, stuff that you don't have to worry about. You, you mainly uh, your job is to. Translate the content, the, the the language, and not have to worry about all the all the uh, editing and inserting pictures and uh, and uh, and whatnot. So, uh, how many minutes do we have? Oh, it's finished. Okay. Uh, questions? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I was gonna start a new translation from Italian or something to English, but. Uh, that's uh, we're out of time. So, uh, any questions about translation in general, about these tools? Andy. Hi. Oh. Hi. Thank you both for a very interesting talk. I wanted to mention one other place where people can make translations particularly if they want to do short jobs that just take a few seconds, and that's Wikidata, the sister project of Wikipedia, where we have labels and descriptions for lots of items in the world uh, with, uh, in many languages. So uh, we have cheese in English, fromaggio, fromage, cassa in lots of different languages. We need more. And if people just want to do a quick job during a coffee break at work, uh, it's a nice place to do some very quick. Thank you. That's exactly what I mean. Yes. Yes. So, so you can you can add your here. It, it doesn't have description. Uh, it has the name, of the label of cheese in Arabic, but it doesn't have the description. And you can add any any language here that that, that you're interested in, or that you know, or that you want to translate into. And uh, Amir, there is the translation guru, and he's the. Uh, <laughs> Um, microphone. If oh, I, sorry. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. If I'm translating a long document and I want to save it before it's complete, can I save it as a draft where it's not visible? For the for the translation tool. If there's an article already existing in another language uh -huh. and I want to translate it to my language and it's too long, I cannot do it all at once. But I want to save it before it's ready and people cannot see it. Is that possible? Yes, this, this, this tool auto-saves, so you don't even have to click save. It, it's already saved if you're logged into your account. It's saved, and then when you're done, you just hit publish. So it's not published. It's still, this is in your own bubble, so nobody sees it but, but you. Uh, and when you're ready, you can, you can, you can hit publish, and, and it would, uh, so, so this is, this is pub the publish button in Arabic. Uh, when, when I'm done, I'll, I'll just hit this, and It'll create the article, do all the linking, and uh, create the the the, uh, the wiki data items and and all the groundwork. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, I am Amir Aroni. I happen to be the product manager for both the content translation and the previous translate tool which you showed. Thanks a lot for the praise. Really, um, and. Um, I was wondering, um, if, in particular for Arabic, uh, a few weeks ago, uh, my team enabled uh, machine translation for Arabic. Uh, so now that you click something when you're translating to Arabic, it will be translated automatically. And I was wondering how useful that is. Is the translation good enough, uh, or would you prefer to type it manually? Um, I 
did not see that. Right now, you can see it by enabling it on the sidebar. Uh, oh. Right, right, right where yeah, your yeah. mouse is. A bit, yeah. This is a bit lower. A bit, yeah. Here. Ah, okay. Yeah. Try ah. Yandex. Yandex, okay. Click, and try clicking the empty paragraph now. And I'm, I'm wondering how good that is. It's probably not perfect, but uh, I'm wondering I mean, how good it is. As I said. Uh, it's a good start to, I mean, sometimes you can, you can use machine translation to, to speed things up, but you need to be very, very, very careful. So, so for this, for example, I mean, really, um, we have language particular, particularities. So first of all here, the, the name, for example, this is a, a proper name, so it wasn't translated, which is good, I guess, because uh, even though it's it's translated being translated back into Arabic, it's an Arabic name. But but here, for example, we have uh, male and female. She happens to be a female, and this is the male verb, male version of the verb. So you really need to uh, to be very careful of uh, uh, of of machine translation and not just translate and and, and publish. Uh, but but this is a good start. I mean, as I said I, I'm not a German speaker. I hardly know any German, and uh, and this would help give perhaps a, a general idea of of what this paragraph is talking about. And, and what I would have done is take it to Google Translate and do the same th thing. So so this is a is a helpful tool as a starting point. Thanks. But just make sure it's not the you don't automatically translate. Just not make it too easy to uh, to translate uh, this fast. Right. Uh, just uh, my question, not a question, just uh, like a suggestion. Uh, will, uh, uh, I want to back to the previous talk of May. Uh, I liked very much uh, the, your project of WikiWoman uh, translation. Uh, so uh, I want to inform you that uh, we uh, in the Central and Eastern European uh, uh, community, we organized a uh, contest, CE Spring call. And we uh, also include uh, some uh, women. Uh, spe special, special nomination about women, translation articles about women in uh, different uh, languages of the region. Uh, so in the future, uh, if you organize uh, such a project, uh, please uh, be informed and uh, take uh, a list uh, also of women and uh, tra tra translate this. And also I hope we uh, can do something for uh, students who, who study Arabic in Ukraine in the future and uh, inshallah they will also join. <laughs> Thank you for your questions. So to make sure that the, I got the question right, you're asking about the contest? You're right, he, he's asking about contest? The, the Wiki Women project, like articles. So, so, so you have articles to be translated, right? Yes, there are at least uh, we, in the Central and East European region, uh, we had a contest that has just finished. Uh, it will yeah, see okay. spring. Yeah. And uh, we also had the nomination special about women. Uh, so there, is, uh, there are a list of women from uh, uh, most of the countries from the region. Yeah, sure. So I would uh, like yeah. you to, in the future, to also take uh, into consideration this list and uh, also to translate articles in Arabic. Well, yeah, well, and actually, by the way, uh, throughout these two years, we translated most of the articles about um, queens and princesses all over Europe. And we have a contest, yeah, Wiki Women contest. So, um, and by the way, we translate uh, articles about women without any, um, I mean, from all countries with all backgrounds, whatever they are, we translate. So it's very open, very wide uh, variety of articles. Yes, but be sure and uh, maybe pay some special attention. It will be nice to, to cooperate. Wait, wait, okay, wait, wait, whatever the, the article is um, is featured or good, we translate it, whatever it is and whatever the language is. So hopefully things will go well. Have I answered your question? Oh, OK. Thank you. All right. All right. Any more questions? All right. All right, thank you, everyone. Um, thank you. Thanks, Mike.
Hi. Just, just, just a very quick plug. Uh, today at four at the museum, if this interested you, there's a workshop about how to use content translation. Four at the museum. Thank you. Thank you.